Welcome to Inside KL. I'm your host, Carrie Ung, and this is Insider TV, coming up on this month's show. Come with me as I check out some of KL's best dining hotspots, nightlife, and the best retail therapy Asia has to offer. Kuala Lumpur, the beating heart of Asian culture, where language, religion, food and people from all over the world meet in the region's most diverse and cosmopolitan city. Whether you feel like the gastronomic heights of world-class restaurants, innovative fusion cuisine or authentic hawker food, Malaysia's capital is a food lover's paradise. And after dinner, feel like hitting a club? You're in the right place. Kale has some of the best nightlife in Asia. From cozy wine bars to all-out super clubs, there's always a party going on. But that's not all. KL is a great place to shop, small boutiques, big brands, and some of the world's largest malls. All that and more on Inside KL. Malaysia is one of the most developed countries in Asia with a sophisticated network of monorails, trains and LRT that cover KL and beyond and plentiful affordable taxis. It's not always easy to get a taxi here in KL. Download an app, My Taxi, and you can get a taxi safely from wherever you are just from a click of a button. It's really easy. Taxis are a great way to get around KL, but when it comes to getting to the airport, there's an easier and more affordable way of making the journey. Here at KL Centre, the heart and city of Kuala Lumpur, KLIA Express is the fastest and most convenient way to get to KLIA or KLIA2. And here, you can check in your flight and also your luggages. How convenient, right? Trains leave every 15 minutes at peak times, whisking you from the centre of the city to the airport in air-conditioned comfort. And you know what's great? There's even a free onboard Wi-Fi. Oh, such a hard life, right? Exploring Kuala Lumpur by road or rail can be daunting, but fortunately, there are some more inventive ways to get around this amazing city. Enjoy a scenic tour through the city streets on the KL Horse and Carriage Ride for a more up-close and personal look at Kuala Lumpur. Start your journey at the KL City Gallery and travel down the historical Merdeka Heritage Route on board this comfortable, classically made horse-drawn carriages from Turkey. KL has a rich cultural heritage from colonial influences, Asian tradition and Malay Islamic inspiration all thrown into one diverse melting pot. There's no better place to start your cultural journey than here at Merdeka Square. The beautiful old KL Railway Station, the majestic Sultan Abdul Samad building and Masjid Jamik, which stands in the very spot that the city of KL was founded, are just a stone's throw away. Merdeka Square is just the tip of KL's cultural iceberg, from colonial wonders like the Central Market to huge postmodern skyscrapers and tiny little hidden away Chinese and Indian temples, KL is an architecture enthusiast's dream. So after a short train ride from KL, we're here in Putrajaya. This is the home of the government of Malaysia, purpose-built from the ground up. And this is one of the most modern cities you can find. And what's amazing here that I truly love is that each and every one of these buildings is a piece of art in itself. In the north of the city, conveniently served by the KTM rail services is Batu Caves. One of Hinduism's most popular shrines outside of India, Batu Caves is thought to be more than 400 million years old and is one of KL's most popular tourist spots. Wow, that's a lot of steps. Make sure you come check out Batu Caves, especially during festivities, but keep an eye on those monkeys. Now that I've burned those calories, let's go look for something to eat. Coming up on Inside KL, food, glorious food. Come with me as I check out some of KL's best dining hotspots, find out where the party is at in Asia's hottest city and explore some of the best retail therapy Asia has to offer.
Kuala Lumpur is renowned for its diverse range of food options from Indian, Chinese and Malay street food and Mamak restaurants to world-class international cuisine. Kuala Lumpur is a truly gastronomic city taking pride in its culinary wonders and offering dining experiences on par with some of the best cities in the world. Troika Sky Dining in KLCC is home to several fantastic fine dining restaurants. Fuego is a South American restaurant bar serving up unique tapas, authentic ceviche and other South American wonders with an incredible view of KLCC. Just next door, Cantaloupe's chef Christian Bauer presents a menu of incredible innovative dishes with a similarly awesome view of the KL skyline. Bijan, a stone's throw from KLCC and Bukit Bintang, offers a true taste of fine Malay cuisine in a stunning, tranquil setting and Songket is a hidden gem serving wonderful traditional Malay food with a modern twist. KL is home to some of the best street food in the world. If Indian food takes your fancy, Brickfields just down the road from KL Central is like a little slice of the subcontinent with street food and restaurants as well as stores selling Indian fare. For an authentic Malaysian experience, Kampung Baru offers a slice of traditional Malay village life amongst the bustling metropolis of the city. Just one stop from KLCC, there's no better place to experience real Malay hawker food from grilled chicken to barbecue clams. One of the best places to experience street food is here in Jalan Alor, Bukit Bintang. And you can get a wide variety of street food here in KL. And it's amazing because you can just get anything you want and it's for you. Malaysia is famous for its food. It is not uncommon for a Malaysian family to drive for hours to find a good dinner. While in Malaysia, there is one rather unique cuisine that you'll either love or hate. Either way, it's a national treasure and you absolutely cannot leave without giving it a go. So here we are at this durian buffet place and this is amazing because this is Malaysia's national food. Whether you love it or hate it, I think you should try this, the durian. It is amazing and you can get here in Petaling Jaya, durian buffets, the entire stretch. This is one of my favourite. It's the D24 and it's got amazing texture. You have to try it. If you'd like to go a little more upmarket, Bangsa Village has hundreds of restaurants and bars that opened out onto the street. From gourmet western food to supposedly KL's best banana leaf restaurant. Dewi's Corner here in Bangsa is famous amongst local. It's 24 hours and they serve incredible tandoori. And they've been voted KL's best banana leaf. So let's find out what all of us is about. Local restaurants serving Indian buffet are a common sight in KL, but Devi's consistently wins local awards for its authentic Indian food that will not break the bank, and locals rave about the place. Curries, fresh roti, satay, and you have to try the chicken tandoori. For something more civilized and air-conditioned, upstairs is the home to apparently the best crab curry in the city. So come on an empty stomach and don't be shy. Changkat, the heart and soul of KL's party seat. Bars and restaurants that spills onto the street, creating an atmosphere that rivals any in Asia. But Changkat is not just a drinking hall. Look beneath the surface, there are some hidden little gems that you might just miss. Changkat's latest hotspot, Opium, promises a unique experience that you won't get anywhere else in the city. Styled on the oriental opium dens of yore, Opium's menu of traditional Asian cuisine and Western creations with an Asian twist is the perfect accompaniment to these opulent, authentic surroundings. As well as traditional Malaysian dishes, the restaurant boasts a selection of truly delicious Asian cuisine. And from the extensive menu, I recommend one of the distinctive desserts, the cheesy banana fritters. Caramelized banana, banana and vanilla ice cream, and a sprinkling of, you guessed it, cheese. I absolutely love it. Opium's creative cocktails match the surroundings perfectly, presented in novel ways, and with names like Genghis Poison Chalice, Tea Trader, and Forbidden City, you have to give them a go to. Great food, unique drinks, and I just love these sultry surroundings. Opium on Chankat is a must visit during your stay in KL. In the mood for steak? Me too, I know just the place. A 40-seat 
It's a steakhouse in the heart of Changkat. The steakhouse is a family-friendly, intimate neighborhood steakhouse. If you feel like a steak, the steakhouse has a whole range of cuts to choose from, from medallion to tenderloin to strip loin, or even my favorite, a T-bone. You can even pick the perfect bottle to accompany your meal from their well-stocked cellar. I love the down-to-earth feel of this place. It's so rustic, so homely, and the steaks, they're to die for. The steakhouse on Changkat is a little gem amidst the hustle and bustle of Bukit Bintang. Book a table and try it out while you're here in KL. After your steak, swing by right next door for the perfect after-dinner digestive, a glass of the finest whiskey. The whiskey bar on Changkat offers over 400 labels from all over the world, from the rarest single malt and scotch to Irish and Japanese whiskey and even French green whiskey. One of the best ways to truly experience the many kinds of whiskies available here at the Whiskey Bar is to order from this selection of flights. With this, you are given the opportunity to try on the many kinds of whiskies without breaking the bank. The Whiskey Bar isn't only whiskey, you can also order food from the steakhouse next door. Wow, what a unique range of different tastes. I've never had whiskey like it. If you're craving for a drop of liquid sunshine, you know where to go. At a glance, you'd be forgiven for thinking that Black Forest is just another bar on Changkat. But look closer, there is more here than meets the eye. Inside lies KL's most authentic German restaurant and bar, serving up great drinks and gastronomic delights from the Deutschland. From schnitzel to Black Forest, some choose the revamp of the world-famous Black Forest cake in a glass. This unique hangout is an almost hidden treasure among the crowded restaurants on Changkat, offering a great selection of German beers, schnapps and beyond, as well as delicious food from standard offerings to more uniquely German delights. If you're still undecided on what to have for dinner, I would recommend digging into a schnitzel. I never knew there were so many types of this very popular German dish. As a restaurant and bar, Black Forest in Changkat Bukit Bintang is a great setting for meetups, dinner or simply a few drinks with pals. With an appetit! El Cerdo specializes in home-cooked flavors from all around the world. With its location in the heart of this strip in Changka Bukit Bintang, it's the perfect place for you to start your culinary journey in KL. El Cerdo is the result of 10 years of perfected cooking by renowned chef Werner Kuhn. From mini sausages, ribs to paella, every imaginable pork dish is available here. For something a little more special, one dish in particular stands out. The restaurant stays true to some ancient traditions, including the breaking of plate ceremony, which is an experience in itself. I wish for happiness, wealth and health. If you're in the mood for meat, El Cerdo is definitely top of the list. If you're looking for a special experience for dinner, there is one place in KL that stands out above all others. Dining in the Dark is the first of its kind in Malaysia, a restaurant in complete darkness. When I say darkness, I mean complete darkness. So after my welcome drink on the lovely open top balcony, it's time for me to begin my Dining in the Dark experience. Wish me luck. So you're going to be careful with me, yeah? Yep. Wow, this is so interesting. I literally can't see anything in here. Mm. I have my soup served and it's because I don't have my sense of sight. My other senses are heightened. And this first soup I have here, it smells so familiar. I think it's definitely melon. Mmm, that's lovely, sweet and the texture is just amazing. Dining in the Dark is all about learning and discovery. Even the menu, consisting of international dishes, is a surprise. Wow, such a unique experience. I've never done anything quite like it. Make sure you give Dining in the Dark a try while you're in KL. But remember, this place is really popular, so always book a table. KL is one of the best places in Asia to experience authentic steamboat. But here at Yeti, they take the concept to a whole new level. If you're new to Steamboat, you must give it a go. The concept is pretty simple. Pick a soup base, all broth, and order from a wide range of raw meat, seafood and vegetables, and then cook it all at your table to your liking. And where better to try it than at Malaysia's first Steamboat serving coconut-based broth. 
Yeti's concept is simple. Clean, healthy food with a wide repertoire of organic and semi-organic dishes fresh from the farm to the table. Try their Matsusaka beef, flown in exclusively from Japan every week and pick seafood fresh from the aquarium. Yeti is the roof's newest venue and Kale's most exciting steamboat restaurant. Kale's nightlife scene is as diverse as it gets. Whole strips of late night bars and countless unique hidden away gems, the city has something for everyone. Zook offers a range of themed rooms to cater to different party moods all in one place. Be spoiled for choice in Changkat where you can experience a wide variety of nightlife entertainment options from jazz bars like No Black Tie where you can groove to live music while enjoying your food and drinks to theme bars and full-on nightclubs that will keep you going to the V hours. for a great night in KL, but with so many choices, it can be tricky deciding where to go. But not to worry, because there's one place that has all of the best nightlife spots in one unique location. So come on, Chisaya. That's it. Built to cater to every taste, the roof features five distinct attractions in one place. Situated at the sky level First Avenue in Patalinjaya, the roof promises an elevated brand of entertainment and nightlife concepts. Sports aficionados will have a ball here at SCORE. That's right, you can catch live sports. You can also enjoy a casual drink with friends or a bite to eat. But personally, one of my favorite things is that they have darts, they have billiards, they have foosball waiting for you. So you up for a game, Carrie? We'll bring it on. Let's go. As well as their range of pub games, SCORE also offers great deals on drinks as well as exciting menus of Western pub style food. It's the ideal bar to spend your happy hour with friends and a great starter to a night out. But if you're looking for a more calm and quiet moment, all you have to do is just step up. Before the sun goes down, head upstairs to Stratosphere, where you can watch the sunset over the city as you sip a glass of bubbly in absolute serenity. The view from here at the top of the roof is unbeatable, as are their drinks mixed by Kale's best mixologist. This helipad is huge. What is unique about Stratosphere is the grass. It gives this place a unique, relaxed vibe. And as well as being a great place to chill, it also makes the perfect location for open air functions as well as special events. But the best thing is definitely the view. 360 degree panoramic view of the city skyline. Oh, how romantic. I think it's about time we play another game of foosball. Hmm, actually I'm feeling a little peckish. How about dinner? Okay. Come on. Signature by the Hill offers KL's most refined dining experience with panorama to rival any in the city. The stylish and elegant ambience in here is a lovely setting to the sumptuous Asian and international fusion cuisine on offer. As well as a wide range of international drinks and outstanding signature cocktails which couple perfectly with your meal. I think I'm going to go for the chef special. Great, let's go. What's more, Signature by the Hill has live music every night of the week. And after indulging in delicious food and good-sized portions, step next door for a perfect after-dinner digestive. The fourth stop on our journey through the roof is the rather distinguished Morton Leaf. This place exudes masculinity and an air of exclusivity that makes this space really cool. Single malt connoisseurs will love this drink menu. And not only that, but they also have a walk-in chilled room where you can check out a range of cigars from all around the world. Now, how cool is that? The view from this side of the building overlooking the build-up area of PJ is super cool too. And speaking of cool, there's one more place to check out before we call it a night. If you want to party with KL's hippest and trendiest movers and shakers, then you have to check out my favorite club in KL. Play. Move to the groove of the latest mixes by Kale's best DJs and dance the night away in the city's most vibrant night spot. As well as a full menu of international DJs and live acts, Play promises the coolest atmosphere in KL with an electric party vibe unlike any other. It's truly a feat for the senses with pumping beats, awesome surroundings and amazing atmosphere. It's simply the best place to end the night.
Wow, what a great night out. I really love the sunset from Stratosphere and the food at Signature Butter Hills was to die for. <laughs> I couldn't agree anymore. And you know, we had so much fun playing foosball at score. It was almost as fun as dancing the night away when we were in play. Whatever it is that you fancy, the roof here in PJ has it all. It's time for us to call it a night though. See you later. KL is a melting pot of culture and tradition, rich in history and heritage, and with a wide range of cultural attractions and exciting activities. Take a tram ride through the lush gardens of Padana Botanical Gardens, frolic under the sun at KLCC Park, or explore the forest walkways at the KL Forest Eco Park and experience a refreshing oasis in the middle of the bustling city. For a dose of Islamic history, bask in the largest collection of Islamic artifacts and literature at the Islamic Arts Museum just around the corner from the Botanic Gardens or get the best view of the city from the Petronas Towers. Take a stroll along the Sky Bridge before being whisked to the observation deck on the 86th floor where you will get an unbeatable bird's eye view of the city as well as learning about how the incredible structures were built. Here in Pataling Jaya, just outside a renovated warehouse that has just become KL's latest attraction. I've heard from some of my more adventurous friends that if you're a thrill seeker, you have to check this place out. Jump Street is Malaysia's first and Asia's biggest trampoline park, offering eight different attractions for active people looking for a different kind of fun. Look at how big this place is. I'm not exactly an athlete, but here goes. You don't need to worry too much about a perfect landing here at the foam pit. You can just bounce and fall right into the thousands of soft foam cubes waiting to break your fall. Apparently. Falling in is actually pretty easy. It's getting out of the pit that's more of a challenge. As much as I've enjoyed jumping up and down, all that bouncing has got me hungry. Replenish your lost fluids from your day's activity at Jump Cafe, nominated as Best Cafe in Time Out KL for their great food and famous coffees. As a special treat, Jump Street has partnered with Uber so you can get 50% of all your rides that start from or end at Jump Street Monday to Friday. What a day! I'm exhausted but I've had so much fun! Bring your family down to Jump Street and I promise you, you'll leave with a spring in your step. Kuala Lumpur is a city full of history and culture. A great way to experience it hands-on is to simply take a stroll down one of many heritage trails or watch it unfold before your very eyes at every street corner. And that's exactly what I set out to do when I arranged to see Mud, our story of Kuala Lumpur. The stage play of historical fiction tells the story of Kuala Lumpur's history and is a project of Visit KL presented by City Hall. Panggung Manare is a fitting choice to present a show about Kuala Lumpur's history as this is almost the exact spot where the city is born. The show tells the story of how Kuala Lumpur rose from the miry clay on which the city was built and became the modern city it is today. Mud is an interactive musical where audiences are invited and encouraged to join in the show. So be prepared to stretch those vocal cords and dancing feet because you never know when you just might be called on stage. It's a great way to learn about Kuala Lumpur's history, culture and heritage. Learn and have fun while you're at it. Get ready to put your logical and creative skills to the test here at Breakout, a thrilling simulated strategy game room here in Kuala Lumpur. There are different rooms with different themes that players can choose from. The ability to work as a team is crucial to the success of this game. Participants will start the game with no other clue than knowing the theme of the room. Prior to starting the game, players are encouraged to discuss their strategy using the information that was made available to them. To achieve minimal completion, players will get to choose different characters with specific functions. Breakout Malaysia is located next to Surya KLCC Shopping Mall and Inside Avenue K Shopping Mall. It is highly accessible via train and is linked to the LRT KLCC train station. Breakout Malaysia is a hot new spot where you and your friends can get a surreal, movie-like strategy game experience. 
A visit to Kale is not complete without a visit to Royal Selangor Visitor Centre. Hop on their complimentary shuttle and get ready for a full day of excitement and fun for the whole family. Founded in 1885, Royal Selangor is the world's foremost name in quality pewter, a brand synonymous with design and craftsmanship. A guided tour takes you on a journey about the history of Royal Selangor to its present-day iconic status. The Royal Selangor Visitor Centre is one of KL's top attractions and welcomes about 250,000 visitors per year. They have even played host to several celebrities such as Hollywood star Mel Gibson and Martha Stewart. Admission is free and the Visitor Centre is open from 9am to 5pm daily. Guides are fluent in English and other languages such as Malay, Mandarin and Japanese. Upon entering the visitor centre, guests are ushered into the gallery where they can view pewter artefacts, learn about the science of pewter and participate in their interactive demo stations. At the School of Hard Knocks, visitors can learn to create their own take-home souvenir, a pewter dish using traditional tools, similar to those used by pewter smiths more than a hundred years ago. After the guided tour, guests may relax at the cafe and enjoy delectable cakes and sandwiches. You can also stop by the retail store to pick up some great gifts and souvenirs. The Royal Selangor Visitor Centre has won numerous travel awards including the Best Tourist Attraction Award from Tourism Malaysia and the Best ASEAN New Tourist Attraction Award from the ASEAN Tourism Association. The Visitor Centre takes you back over a hundred years to the founding of Royal Selangor and it's linked to the history of Malaysia to its present day as the largest pewter maker. The world is your playground. Discover it with Insider TV. From Shanghai to Singapore, KL to Queenstown, explore the best cities in Asia and beyond with the world's best insider's guide. When you travel, travel with Insider TV. If you're looking for the perfect night spot in KL with great food and even greater music live side by side, look no further. Just behind the bustling nightlife strip of Changkat in Bukit Bintang, NBT as the locals call it, is KL's most happening bar for the discerning music lover. As its name suggests, this casual team live music venue shies away from the formal atmosphere of a classical music hall, yet retains a unique avant-garde ambience amazing acoustic and an impressive lineup of talented artists that draws in an eager crowd every single night. Since it was founded in 1998 by Sarawak-born and US-trained classical pianist Evelyn He, it has gained a strong reputation in the local scene as a hub for jazz music enthusiasts and musicians. Enjoy nightly performances of swinging jazz, funky Brazilian beats, cabaret and even the occasional classical music performance. But no black tie doesn't stop there. Check out their sumptuous menu of French and Italian. Homemade soups, delicious mains, delightful desserts, with a selection of eclectic drinks, perfect for a laid back night out. And if you're unable to catch the live performances at NBT, you can even listen to it on KL's local radio cable channel, Astro Radio. Tucked in the tranquil surroundings of Desa Sri Hachamas, west of KL city centre, lies Kuala Lumpur's hottest destination for live music and great food. Backyard Pub and Grill has been a popular watering hole for locals and expats alike for over 25 years. With a vast selection of fine wines and refreshing brews as well as a wide range of single malts, you'll definitely find something to quench your thirst amid the heat of KL. Serving an eclectic mix of classic and modern hits of different styles and genres, the Beckett Pub is a haven for all music connoisseurs. Don't forget to sample their hot and spicy mutton fried rice, their mouth-watering Taiping fried kway teow, and other sumptuous local and western pub fairs. Where to start? Coming up on Inside KL, Find out what's on in KL this month and come with me as I indulge in a spot of retail therapy. Whether you love independent boutique stores or world-class designer brands, 
KL is a great place to shop with three of the world's 10 biggest shopping malls and some beautiful old districts where you can find authentic Asian clothing and accessories. Bukit Bintang is home to designer stores, shopping malls and even some great restaurants. Chinatown is the place to find a whole range of clothes and it's even a great place to eat. And just down the road is Central Market which is a one-stop shop for souvenirs, art and antiques. And a trip to KL wouldn't be complete without seeing Little India in Brickfields. I think I'm going to look for an Indian sari. Wow, isn't this beautiful? I'm so in love with it. Isn't this great? KL, Southeast Asia's most cosmopolitan city where fashion, culture and creativity come together to create a modern sense of style that has made KL the go-to place for global fashionistas. And when it comes to high fashion in this incredible city, there's only one club you need to belong to. Club 21 is Asia's top luxury fashion retailer and is highly regarded as one of the most fashion-forward style emporiums in the region. They are responsible for bringing in a wide range of high-end designer brands which comprises an eclectic mix of Asian and Western, both well-known and upcoming. What makes the brand Club 21 so unique? Well, we are purveyors of luxury fashion here in KL and in Asia. We house one of the widest range of designer labels from all the major fashion cities in the world. And we are also acclaimed for introducing new emerging designers from the fashion industry to Malaysia and across Asia. Club 21 first arrived in Asia with the opening of the first Jojo Armani flagship stores, both here in Malaysia and Singapore. Over the years, its judicially edited collection of designer brands has grown to meet the ever-changing landscape of the fashion and retail industry. Okay, so you're the expert when it comes to Club 21. So where would you suggest someone like me start? Well, Carrie, are you a shoe person? Well, I am a girl, so that would be a yes. I hear you. Well, whether your vice is for bags, shoes or accessories, Club 21 is never far away. We've got more than 30 international brands across six malls in Malaysia alone. Well, let's go shopping. Sounds perfect. In fact, Club 21 has everything you need for any occasion. From the classics to the street chic, clothes to accessories, even cute clothes for toddlers, their range of brands spell luxury, comfort and aesthetics. The great thing about Club 21 is that it brings the best fashion the world has to offer right to my doorstep. All the brands that I know and some that I didn't are all here, which makes picking something for that special night a breeze. To experience more of Club 21's brands, sign up to the membership program which offers various rewards as you shop in Club 21's range of designer stores across Asia. Register online and can immediately start earning points on purchases made across Club 21 stores in Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand. Club 21 card holders' privileges include complimentary tailoring, tier discounts and special offer lifestyle packages. Members can also donate their points to worthy causes under the Club 21 Cares platform. Whatever you need, Club 21's impressive portfolio of brands is guaranteed to have it. Trust me, you will not leave empty-handed. Have you ever wondered why Italian-made shoes equate to quality and style? Well, stay tuned to find out as we're lucky enough to get an inside scoop. The Italian luxury brand Salvatore Ferragamo treated us to a one-of-a-kind shoemaking showcase. The art of shoemaking revealed the creativity, style and comfort that forms the mould of Ferragamo shoes. The evening featured an exclusive behind-the-scenes shoemaking demonstration from one of the brand's master craftsmen flown directly from Florence, Italy. The private cocktail reception was held at Salvatore Ferragamo's duplex boutique in Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. Attended by some of the most stylish personalities in Malaysia, it was an evening of sophistication and glamour. Footwear aficionado savoured an up-close and personal meet with one of the makers of Ferragamo masterpieces. Throughout the evening, guests were captivated by the level of skill and craftsmanship that goes into producing each pair. The event took guests back in time to experience the brand's revolutionary designs and innovative technology. 
everyone could attest to Salvatore Ferragamo's obsession with quality and comfort and came away with a newfound appreciation of craftsmanship. It was a fascinating evening discovering the secrets behind Ferragamo's beautiful designs. A pair of these luxurious shoes is not merely an accessory but a wearable art piece. KL is a vibrant and active city, bustling with life at every turn and activities and events happening all over the city. Check out these events while you're here in KL this month. Be a part of the thrilling ATP World Tournament in Asia as world-renowned tennis players come for the 7th Malaysian Open at the Putra Stadium from September 26th until October 4th. For schedules, ticket prices and more info, visit MalaysianOpenTennis.com Take part in a month-long celebration of cultural and traditional performances at Diverse City 2015. A huge range of performances with artists from Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand and other countries promise an extraordinary experience for everyone. For the full programme and for more information, visit Diversity.my Taiwan's popular love ballads diva, Sai Chin, is set to astound the audience as she performs her hits The Forgotten Time, The Last Night and Reading You on her latest concert tour at the Arena of Stars on October 10. Insider TV's network of expert insiders across Asia are always busy hunting for the newest experiences the tastiest food and most unique attractions so the next time you travel in the region you know exactly where to go this month we go to Singapore to explore the Singapore Turf Club with our very own Jamie Yeo if you're in Singapore on a Friday or Sunday and are looking for a great time with a difference hop onto an MRT or a cab and take an easy ride to the Singapore Turf Club Next to Kranji MRT on the North-South Line and just 20 to 30 minutes taxi from the city, Singapore Turf Club offers so much more than a day at the races. The club has a whole range of activities, venues, dining and lifestyle options. It's guaranteed fun whatever the weather. Before or even during the races, try the karting circuit, designed by world-renowned F1 circuit designer Herman Thiek. The carts can go as fast as 100 kilometers per hour, so it's not for the faint-hearted. The club itself is split over four levels. If you're traveling in a large group, experience the races in absolute luxury and book a table in a box on level four with drinks and delicious meals all included. Watch the action unfold from the comfort of your table with your friends or step outside onto the balcony for the best view in the house. Oh, and remember, dress to impress. The owner's lounge here on level 3 is a more informal affair where the tables are arranged comfortably so you're guaranteed to not miss a thing. There's great food and drinks on tap here and the atmosphere when the horses are crossing the line is simply electric. Whether you're hankering for some Western comfort food or feel like experiencing a taste of the Orient, the Owner's Lounge has you covered with a full menu of Western and Eastern favorites, not to mention a well-stocked bar serving an excellent selection of wine, drought beer and cocktails, served in a great space with huge floor-to-ceiling windows that'll make you feel like you're right next to the race itself. In between the races, you can get up close and personal to the horses and the jockeys. Tell you what, you don't realize how big they are until you're right next to them. The parade ring is a hub of activity between races. It's a great place to get a feel for the raw energy and passion that goes into each event. But of course, during the race, there is no better place to be than right in the middle of the action. Trackside is where you find all the hardcore fans and where the atmosphere is best at the club. Come on! Hold on to your horses. This November 15th sees the Longines Gold Cup grace the Singapore Turf Club once again. The richest race in Singapore's equestrian calendar has had a long and exciting history. From the inaugural race in 1924 to this year's event, 
the 2,200 meter circuit remains the pinnacle of racing prowess. And with a prize pot of $1.35 million, the atmosphere is set to be electric. Join us at the Longines Singapore Gold Cup on 15 November with the marquee package. Visit goldcup.sg for more information. Surrounding the inner city of Kuala Lumpur is Selengo, a state in its own right that is home to some unique attractions, authentic local food, and not to mention some of the world's most enormous shopping malls. If you have kids, or even if you don't, check out the famous Sunway Lagoon theme park at Petaling Jaya. It features so many themed attractions and rides for all ages, plus a water park with a man-made surf beach and mini zoo. Integrated into the theme park is the Sunway Pyramid Shopping Mall. The giant sphinx and pyramid prominently displayed on its grounds gives this award-winning shopping mall a distinct look. It's a little like being in Egypt without leaving Malaysia. Also in Petaling Jaya, Wanutama Shopping Mall not only features a wide range of shops offering dining, entertainment and fashion, it is also home to Malaysia's largest indoor rock climbing gym. Nearby, the curve provides numerous retail stores for more shopping options. It is a good place to meet up with friends and family with a huge variety of restaurants. Conveniently connected to the curve is Ikano Power Center, which features family-friendly shopping areas and some unique home furnishing stores. The Mines Shopping Mall's unique feature is its location. On a lake with a canal running through the centre of the mall, you can even take a relaxing river cruise to get there. The Mines is home to one of the biggest IT centres in Malaysia, featuring a wide selection of electronics and IT products. After all that shopping, you'll no doubt be hungry. A must-try is the Fatty Crab in PJ. Sample their famous spicy and sour crab, satay and fried rice. It's all really affordable and absolutely delicious. And the atmosphere is as authentic as it gets. And nearby is one of KL's best hawker centres. Ming Tian is home to over 50 food stalls offering authentic food from all over Asia, from chicken wings to seafood. If you want a one-stop location to try out all of the best food that this city has to offer, Ming Tian is absolutely the perfect spot. Get away from the hustle and bustle of city life and enjoy a breath of fresh air from acres of greenery at the Lush Forest Research Institute of Malaysia, known locally as FRIM, located at Kopong. You can even rent a bike to explore the extensive grounds or for adrenaline addicts, check out Skytrax. Islamic culture is strong in Malaysia and where else to get a true feeling of the devotion of its followers than at Malaysia's largest mosque. Located in Shah Alam, the imposing structure of the Sultan Salahuddin Abdul Aziz Shah Mosque is truly a sight to behold. It is the largest mosque in Malaysia with 26,000 people filling its distinct blue silver dome every day. Also in Shah Alam, iCity is a retail and commercial hub. Known as the City of Lights, it features colourful LED displays and art deco structures, as well as an IC amusement park for kids. Selengo has so much to offer, so jump in the cab or hire a car and don't be afraid to get out and explore this wonderful state. You won't be disappointed. Malaysia's diverse culture calls for a visit in every part of the country. To dip into the country's beauty, one of the places to see is Penang in West Malaysia. One of the ways to reach Penang is through land trip. Trains and buses are available that ply the KL Penang route regularly. But for someone who loves a road trip, getting a car rental service like Avis is the way to see this side of the country. It's so easy to book a rental with Avis. All you need is identification, driver's license and a credit card. And then off you go. Avis is synonymous to ultimate driving service. It provides short-term daily rental or sunshine same-day package that suits any driving needs. There are many service points which travellers can pick up an Avis car from the airports to its local offices in KL and Glen Marie. If you're flying into Penang, you can arrange to pick it up at your destination and drive around to see the sights. How easy can that get? Not knowing your way around the area, driving with toddlers, Avis is here to assist. 
Travelers can also rent a GPS or baby car seat. Roadside assistance is also provided, including allocating a replacement car if needed. All cars are inspected regularly by the Puspakam or the Malaysian Vehicle Inspection. Avis makes it a point for cars to be hazard-free and safety information is always available. Driving with Avis is not only convenient, but it takes you to your destination safely. Don't miss the chance to see Malaysia's sensational contemporary pop singer Yuna in her concert at the Plenary Hall Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre on October 16. Tickets are limited, so get yours now. Grammy Award winner and world-class saxophonist Kenny G will be performing at the Arena of Stars on October 17. Don't wait to miss this one-night-only concert. Join the biggest motorcycling festival to be held at the Sepang International Circuit on October 23rd to 25th. There'll be exciting new events including the MotoGP pre-anniversary party, stunt shows, the safety car ride, grid walk and many more. And get up close and personal with the biggest names in golf at Malaysia's prestigious golfing event at the Kuala Lumpur Golf and Country Club on October the 29th until November 1st. For more event info, visit cimbclassic.com. Well, what an amazing journey I've had in one of Asia's coolest cities. Time now to relax and enjoy the view. See you next time.